so this is the trailer and it's got a leaking valve as you can see here it's ripped over there so this is something important to check on your cars and in your trailers if it sits in the sun for too long it basically degrades the rubber around you and that's what happens to rips over time so we'll show you how to change this here's another example this valve is about one year old it's not the best quality hence the reason why it's already ripping it over there that's not safe so that'll have to be replaced as well So this is the trailer and how you jack that up. It can be jacked up on the beam and it's just got two jack stands over there so if anyone else is curious. This is how you jack up a trailer. Go underneath at the beam itself and then just jack it up from there. The only reason it's the jack stands have clots is so it doesn't damage the axle and it doesn't scratch it. So now we have to remove the valve inside. So if you have one of these tools which has got a notch here and is meant to remove the tire valve inside, you can go ahead and put that in there and turn it. If you don't, what you can do is use a pair of uh, tweezers, metal ones, get in there um, and if you see over here this part here, so you basically put it in between like that kind of use it as a screwdriver and just make sure to keep your eyes clear of this some debris might fly in your eyes and you just twist it open and let all the air out so once all the air is out we'll show you the next step of breaking the bead so this is how I removed it using tweezers just hold it either side and twist it or if you have this tool, like I said, you can use that to unscrew your valve. So now that this valve is removed, we have to break the bead on this tire. There's a couple of different methods. You can do it uh, using a, the machine, either the manual or the automated version. But we'll show you a different method. I'm using just a hydraulic jack over there and just using a vehicle just to break the speed. This is just an alternative, just in case you get stuck somewhere away from your tools or away from a tire shop. It's good to know this method, so we'll do this now and show you how it's done. So this is the mechanical bead breaker, uh, or tire fitter, whatever you like to call it. So this one normally bolts to the ground and it's mechanically operated using the rod. So we'll show you how to use that as well for the second tire. But as I said earlier, for the first method, we'll show you the emergency method. So we are now underneath the vehicle. We'll put the tire underneath here. And we're going to be using the tow bar to break the bead using the jack. If you don't have a tow bar or you don't have a forward drive vehicle or similar, you could use a standard vehicle. Just do it at a safe point, um, either a cross member or a factory jack point or something similar. And you can break the bead that way. My suggestion is if you are not comfortable doing this, visit a tire shop, but this is just in case of an emergency, that's what we're showing in this method. So you want to get the edge of this jack as close as possible to the rim, but not too close to scratch the rim. And I've just put some padding here so I don't damage the paint on the tow bar. So just pop the jack. You could even use some soap water if you have that available. Otherwise you're going to have to keep turning this wheel and repeating this process till you break the bead. So 
Tobacco by spraying soap, it helps lubricate. It helps lubricate the bead from the room and breaks it a bit easier. So as you saw there, that's how you, you keep doing it and you keep turning it around, go from step to step to step to step on each part of the rim and then it'll break the bead eventually. That does take that does take quite some time, so we're gonna be switching to the second way of doing it, and this is the preferred method. I'm gonna show you how to break the bead doing it this way. So you gotta line up the rim on this bottom notch over there. And then you put it in there like so, spray some soap. Did you get it? So as you can see, you know when the bead is broken, when it passes just about a couple of inches of the rim. There's that valve. And that's it there. So, as you can see, that part com <coughs> is completely split from here to here. So, we'll go ahead and replace this. So, this is how you break the bead using one of these mechanical tire changes. This rim, if you can, this rim has got a faulty valve. If you see in my other video, um, you'll you would have seen that the other one basically broke and air started leaking. So, we're going to be replacing this one at the same time because normally they go out in pairs. So if one is bad, the other one is not far out. So the same principle applies for suspension bushes or wheel bearings. If one is bad, the other one's normally bad as well. So we'll show you how to use this. We're not gonna bolt this in. We're just gonna show you how to do it without bolting this in, in case you're stuck in some sort of scenario and you only have access to this without access to a garage floor or something similar. So we'll show you how to do that. So spray the wheel down with soap or water or whatever you have access to. So spray the wheel down with soap to lubricate the bead so it can be broken off the seat a little bit easier. Go ahead and place your tire on the notch as seen there. And put your bead breaker over there. You might need a helper now just to hold this down. There you go, and that's how the bead is broken. So you get that kind of a sound. So you might wonder why we didn't remove the valve on this one. This is the one with the broken valve stem there. So this is the one with that broken one, so we don't have to worry about it. Otherwise, if not, you have to do the previous method. You can watch the other video how to do that. On this one, we didn't remove the valve stem. We didn't remove the internal valve because this one is the ripped one that we showed you earlier at the start of the video. So if you want to 
see how that was removed just go back early in the video to see how that was done so now we'll just go ahead and take out this old bad stem just pull on it and make sure you can catch it at the back in case it falls down so it's pull on it with pliers or with your hand Here, so just put a rag here so you don't damage the rim. Just twist on it. And just break it off like that. And then you can push the remaining through through the back, but or make sure to hold it so it doesn't fall in the tire. This one I didn't even need to push, but sometimes just put a screwdriver there and just carefully push it. Don't cut your hand and slip. And then you basically just take your new one. So take your new one. Uh, normally it's got the number on it. So just check if you want to match it up big like for like. Just check the number at the back. This one says it's a 413. If you look at the old one, that was also a 413. So with your new one, if you don't have the proper tool to pull it through, you just get a bit of soap and just lube it up a little bit and then from the back so you insert this from the back push down on the tire and insert it from the back like so and then you just pull it through carefully not damaging the the stem itself So I just put a large screwdriver from the back and I'm just pushing on it carefully. But just keep it there so it doesn't fall through. And then get your pliers again. Wrap it in some cloth. So you saw the method before using the screwdriver and the pliers that's just in case of an emergency because like i said this video is mainly aimed for emergency use but the proper way of doing it is using the tool which we'll show you now you undo the valve stem cap and you basically soap it up and then you just screw that in there and you pull that through so that way you're not damaging the rubber on this in the valve just like that and it pulls in so like I said if you do have access to the tool it makes life a lot easier it's a proper way of doing it as well but the previous method only use that in emergency if you're stuck somewhere So you just saw me previously remove the valve from inside here, that, from the thread bit. So now we're going to fill it up so to reseat the bead. So sometimes when you do this, it, so sometimes if you're lucky, the bead will just pop by itself using the air and just pressing it here. If not, you'll have to push on the tire, press on the tire like this, like that, or stand it up as well and fill it and at the same time you have to push it like that to get the bead to set so we'll try it and see if it pops it pops if it doesn't we'll have to do that what i just showed you so now it popped you take your valve. You take your valve and don't panic when you pull this off. A lot of air is going to come out. Put it in your tool here. Put it in your tool here and as soon as you pull it off, you can put it in. Even if air comes out, don't worry, you can still pump it up.
just like that and now you can just repressurize it to whatever pressure you normally set your tires to so I'll put about 30 in this one so if this was an emergency scenario you would need access to some sort of air compressor whether it be a portable one or a large one or a workshop one so something similar you wouldn't need access to it. Others you will not be able to do this and complete this work.